Good morning, everyone. My goodness, we are blessed with so many talented and budding artists in our school. Congratulations to our winners and to all the students who submitted artwork. Thank you to the DeKalb School's board, superintendent, administration, art teachers, Director Hayes and his staff at the Watershed Management for embracing this art contest. Every morning should start out with so much joy. Congratulations to Miss um, to Miss Lawyer, I guess, on her retirement, uh, Miss Epps. I, I am new to the board and didn't have the pleasure of working with you, but I've definitely received your emails. Please know your spirit will live on, and DeKalb is better off because of your commitment and loyalty to our community. Thank you, Lawyer Epps. I also want to thank all of my esteemed colleagues, staff, and citizens who joined me last Wednesday for tacos and a toast to the new year and the start of my board service in DeKalb County. I am looking forward to all the many wonderful partnerships we will form to address the work ahead of us here in District 2 and throughout the county. As we move forward, I encourage you to please reach out to my office at mlspears at dekalbcountyga.gov or 404-371-2863. Over the Dr. King holiday weekend, I was honored to participate in the balloon release rally in memory of Quinesha Hall, organized by her mother, Courtney Tompkins, family, friends, and colleagues who loved her and miss her. Former Commissioner Jeff Rader also joined us at the event. I'm working on several efforts in coordination with DeKalb County Transportation, the Georgia Department of Transportation, initiated at the end of last year under Commissioner Rader to improve pedestrian safety at this intersection of Blackman Drive and Scott Boulevard, and to open up communication with DeKalb's law enforcement. I also appreciated the opportunity and the invitation to join the city of Brookhaven for the city's annual MLK dinner. Thank you to Mayor John Ernst and City Council for including me in the festivities. This past Sunday, I had the opportunity to attend the board induction ceremony of the 100 black men of DeKalb County. I appreciated being included in this event and look forward to supporting this organization and future endeavors. I've been busy the last several weeks with new commissioner training with the Association of County Commissioner, Commissioners of Georgia, also known as ACCG, which will continue throughout the year. I'm working very hard to complete the initial certification. There's a lot of information to digest, which will enable me to lead with confidence and leverage the many resources available throughout the county as well as the state. As part of my preparation, I conducted yesterday our very first retreat with the District 2 Commission Office. We discussed priorities not only for my first year, but also the four-year term. We have laid out an aggressive agenda, which I hope to share more about in upcoming monthly newsletters from my office and at meetings throughout the county. Um, if you would like to be sure to be on my newsletter list, I'll just quickly repeat it. It's, um, you can reach out to Caroline Enlow. It's C-L-E-N-L-O-E at DeKalbCountyGA.gov to get on that list, or you can give her a shout at 404-371-2863. And a big thank you to Caroline Enlow, Chief of Staff, for all of her support leading up to uh, where I'm at right now and the work that she's committed and the time over the last few weeks and will no doubt commit over the next four years. Thank you. Back to you, Mr. Presiding Officer.